Brian, you at Apex IT have worked with organizations for a long time, helping them deliver great service experiences. So I want to ask you the question, based on your experience, how has the role of service professionals changed in the last few years? What does it really mean for service leaders? I'm going to take this from an angle of B2B service. We all have a lot of interactions within the B2C space as consumers, online via chat, through social media, email, self-service, and through the phone, usually having to talk with multiple people, getting bounced around and having to repeat ourselves. We see a lot of effort lately from our B2B customers in the high-tech space, industrial manufacturers, CPG organizations, that service B2B customers their partners, distributors, and even sometimes consumers. Right, because you know, in the end, B2B customers, there's people working there and those people are consumers as well, right? They expect the same kind of experience when they go to work than they have in a private life. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. We see them working to have a more proactive and seamless experience throughout the levels of service. Level zero self-service, level one support and call center, and levels two and three through the resolution process that may include field service technicians. We're really seeing four areas of innovation. This includes omni-channel experience. So no matter the channel, you see a consistent experience. This includes self-service, online knowledge, guided scripts leading to self-resolution, chatting with an agent, and even digital chat. Second, to get to that consistent experience, organizations are working toward a single application platform or an integrated platform. The chat should be integrated into the case management platform. The telephony system's integrated. They have a centrally managed knowledge base for both agents and customers. It makes, that, that is so important. If you think about how much overhead it just gives to trying to glue all these dozens of different systems together and trying to make experience consistent, that's difficult. So I, I fully agree as Oracle with the platform story, yeah. Sure. Another couple of areas of innovation that we're seeing is we see more B2B and B2C service organizations were to get a proactive and predictive experience. We see IoT enabled devices sending signals and telemetry data on these devices these organizations provide, whether they're large equipment, cranes, coffee makers, uh, for example. This data can be used to identify a need based on a repair, a piece of equipment not operating effectively, or even if the customer is ready to repurchase a service or product that, it, that the equipment uses. Organizations are sharing this data with their customers via portal and providing a lot of transparency to that data. The portal allows organizations to help with self-service, renewals, purchase through e-commerce, and even push media content to those customers. I'd say lastly, we're seeing more intelligent interactions where service leaders are using data that they own and have access to within their own systems, such as order data or product data or reporting KPIs to have better and more informed conversations. But they're using second and third party data, data they can purchase to have better, more proactive and insightful conversations, such as responses to marketing insights or social insights or visits to the website or their e-commerce site. Data is so important, it's the key, right? Uh, and data has got, also got to be robust and clean. We often see this as an issue. Um, there's a basic garbage in, garbage out principle. So um, sounds like some very, very timely trends here you're mentioning here. So Brian, you guys at Apex IT, you won the CX System Integrator Partner of the Year Award at the annual Marquis Award Ceremony earlier this year. And I've heard it's not even the first time you won it. It's not a small feat at all. Can you give us an overview of why this partnership between you guys, Apex IT and us, Oracle, is working so well? Yeah, thank you, Daniel. We're a, we're a 25 year partner of Oracle. It's a five time Oracle CX Partner of the Year winner. And we, we specialize really across Oracle's entire stack. It's CX SaaS applications, like marketing, sales and service, the data applications and data enrichment applications, and even the past technologies like integrations or kind of visual uh, applications as well. We really, specializing, uh, we really specialize in bringing together a combination of advisory services, those applications I talked about and technologies I talked about to help solve business challenges for our customers by, by bringing all of that together. Awesome, so you talked a bit about trends earlier. Um, we talk about consistent experiences, the omni-channel, everything together, um, the, the data aspects, intelligent experience, et cetera. 
So tell us a bit about how our particular collaboration between Apex 19 Org really helps addressing those newer trends that we've seen coming up in the market in the last few years. That Oracle has a, a really a, a very comprehensive CX platform that is really designed to work together on a common customer contact data model for organizations to address their business needs throughout the entire life cycle of the customer at a much lower total cost of ownership as some of the other applications in the market. I encourage the audience to learn more about how extensive that Oracle CX vision is, the portfolio of capabilities are, and I bet you'll really be surprised at the depth and the breadth of the platform. Excellent. Uh, that's why we're here, so that the audience can learn more about this, right? So thanks for your time here, uh, Brian. We at Oracle, we are looking forward to many, many more years, another 25 years at least. A oh, great partnership with you guys. Um, that's all for today. Thanks for your time. Thanks for the chat, Daniel. <laughs>